Welcome to another exploration. My name is Axel. And today we are here at Leadenhall Market. This market is one of the oldest markets in London. It dates back to 1321 and was originally situated in the centre of Rome in London. And this is the site of one of the shots of the Harry Potter movie in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. All students must be equipped with one standard size two pewter cauldron and they bring, if they desire, either an owl, a cat or a toad. Can we find all this in London? If you know where to go. Let's head inside and see what there is to offer. The Leadenhall Market is an iconic building in the financial district of London. As early as 1321, Leadenhall Market was an established meeting place of the poulterers, whilst the cheesemongers brought their produce to the market from 1397, making it one of the oldest markets in London. The Corporation of London acquired the freehold of the property in 1411, and the spacious market continued to be used for the sale of fish, meat, poultry and corn. In 1666, parts of the market were damaged by the Great Fire and were subsequently rebuilt. The existing wrought iron and glass roof building were designed by the city architect Horace Jones and built by the corporation in 1881. Between 1990 and 1991, the market received a dramatic redecoration, which improved its appearance, enhancing its architectural character and detail. Now, Leadenhall Market is home to a number of boutique retailers, restaurants, cafes, wine bars, and an award-winning pub. It has even been featured in cinema, music videos, and video games. So the first thing we have to offer is a ceiling. There is a ceiling in this great market, as you can see. Arched with glass on the top, very old architecture, some nice lights. There's going to be some fantastic stalls in here, I can feel it. Loads of little knickknacks and trinkets to buy. That's what I'm hoping for. What are you hoping for, Axel? Exactly the same. Let's go. This is a bakery in the market. Been here for over 40 years. Let's try something from inside of the store, shall we? It must be good if it's been going since 1982 and it's still standing. Let's go in and see what they've got. Look at the size of that chandelier in the shop. Pan of chocolate. Very nice. Very nice? Yeah. Why? What's nice about it? How cold it is makes it delicious. No, it has got a nice texture. Different shape than normal pan of chocolate. Wish it was a bit warmer, but apart from that, it's good. And for me, I've got a milk chocolate roll. Just a bread roll with milk chocolate in it. Very sweet. The chocolate's very rich. But it's actually quite nice. The New Moon Pub doesn't actually say what date this goes back to. Well, it looks very rustic. It's got a good rustic feel. I like the barrel tables outside there. It's Vintage hot. port and cheese, which is closed. Yeah, now closed. We hope to see you soon. So we've got those two there that are open. I mean, the look and aesthetic of this place is absolutely beautiful. You can't deny that. The first two shops, or well, the shop and the uh, pub Bob. looks great. The bakery. The bakery and the pub looks great. Apart from that, it doesn't seem like much else is open, to be honest. And what time is it? One o'clock in the afternoon? Yeah. It should be. Let's explore further and see if there's anything else here to offer. Now we are here on a Saturday, 
afternoon at 1 p.m. So you would expect it to be uh, alive and bustling, but the majority of people here is the ones sitting at the bakery and photographers. I'm not gonna lie to you. It looks like this place is mostly open through the week. Yeah, Saturday and Sunday closed. That's because we're in the banking district and banks aren't open on the weekends. They won't get as much foot traffic. So they'll lose money by just being open on the weekend. That's crazy. Mm. You got a Pizza Express, Lux, Rees, Windsor's Flowers, Barbers. It's all closed. All of it is closed. Let's see if we can see anything through the windows. All well, the lights are off though. How mad. If you work here, you get the weekends off. And you don't get to shop. So it's closed. That's mad. Chamberlain's traditional fish and chips. Closed. That's even closed. You'd think that bit'd be open on the weekend. I mean it looks nice and clean in there. But I wouldn't be able to tell you if it tastes good. How much is it though? That's uh that's a good thing to see. How much is it? £5.75 for some fish. Chips, three pounds. So if you want your fish and chips, eight seventy-five. What's your peas added in for an extra one fifty? The mini bap, closed. Flying Tiger, closed. <laughs> Snappy Snaps, it's empty. Nothing in there whatsoever. Well, that's an expensive plot to uh, rent now. Old Tom's Tale is a series of stained glass windows telling the story of Old Tom, a goose that famously lived in Leadenhall Market. Old Tom's Tale was designed by Patrick McEvoy with the help of Pruitt's Bisley Architects. What an annoying coincidence. They just close everything in the city of London on the weekend. And there we go, closed again Saturday and Sunday. And that was laid in the whole market. Nothing to do. Nothing. It's all closed on the weekends. We didn't realise that. I mean, it's probably good when there's a lot of hustle and bustle around. Yeah, it looks amazing. It looks like a lot of um, just like clothes shops, really, doesn't it? Yeah. Clothes shops and yeah, some art stores. I mean, it looks cool and the layout's amazing. But it's not really like, it's not like Camden Market, so you can get like, like a bit of everything. I really love the look of it, I love the feel of it, I love yeah. the aesthetic of it, I yeah. like the architecture. Yeah. But apart from that, I don't think the shops would be anything special. Because I just say it's mainly clothes and yeah. whatever. Um, but the building itself is amazing. So maybe it's probably better for us that it wasn't any shops open because we got to see it without mass crowds. Yeah. I just can't stop looking at it if you wonder why I'm looking over there. Anyway. I can't stop wondering what celebrities in that car over there. Yeah, there's a celebrity in the car with black top windows, but we have no idea who it is. But we don't know who the person is in the car, but there's filming crew around, so we presume it's some actor. Makes perfect sense to me. Look at this. This is a proper setup, it's a massive production, whatever it is, anyway. With that, I've been Axel, I'm Sean, and we'll see you in another video. Oosh.